Hello, and welcome back to Stalker Escape from Pripyat. Here we are. Here, we're gonna do it. We're doing it. We're Pripyat. We're Pripyat yatting. We're yatting. We're yachting. Um, we're Pripyatting. Let, to, let me feed my dude. What was that horrible gremlin sound? I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit nervous. There's stuff. Stuff is gonna happen, you know? I, uh, I played with the idea, I was like, you know, it would be a good idea to, um, make some more of that dragon's breath, because I think the reason I took out that, uh, <laughs> that pseudo giant so easily is because I used my, 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 uh, dragon's breath shotgun ammo, of which I have had very little, and in fact, now have none. So... Um, it's kind of a shame, but I honestly can't think of anything better to use, like, premium, uh, top-tier ammo on than a pseudo-giant. What is this thing we're coming up to? Oh, we're accidentally leaving. I am going the wrong way, in fact. <laughs> so, um, I did fast travel here, um, and we're just gonna move. I, I'm not sure where we're gonna go. I think I actually want to go to Jupiter. What? Is that horrible sound? I hear something horrible. I swear to God, I heard something. It was like a dog or, you know, something really pointless, but I swear to God, I heard something. So there is a stash here in um, Pripyat. Really don't know if I want to waste time going for that. Um, there is to our right, what is this? To the outskirts. So this is undoubtedly the outskirts. There is a mission. First Lieutenant Todorov. Um, going to be a member of the Union. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't think that that's a very conducive use of our resources. So honestly, I feel like what would be a good thing would be if we went to Jupiter. I know it's kind of like, maybe it seems a little bit pointless, but I'm not sure. Like, we don't seem to have any missions. I'm really not sure what we're supposed to be doing right now. Like, let me meet with Loki is all I've got. Loki and Yanov Station is my next destination. I've never been to Jupiter. There's probably easier ways to go there than, uh, than through Pripyat. That shadow of the bird honestly kind of spooked me. That is a, uh, environmental sound effect, I think. So we have to leave through the west side. Um, if I see a convenient way of picking up that, uh, stash, then I will. But um, signs are, are probably going to point to it's not going to be convenient. There is, um, as I understand, this place is pretty overrun by monolith. Not that monolith are a huge problem, but, um, you know. Okay, that is actually some kind of critter. Oh, that's a, that's a chimera. Oh, do we ever serve? Okay, we ever serve on F three. That's a pseudo giant. Pretty sure that's a pseudo giant. And I'm I'm serving right now. Sorry, I'm I'm having to cure all of our problems right now, and there are many. trying to take care of the fact that we're bleeding, I think, really badly. Nah, 
So these are... This is Chimera. Definitely taking all of this. Um, let me just, like, use a bandage. I don't see the pseudo giant right now. I'm sure that, it, that it's there. I just don't know where it is. I'm gonna let um, them fire on it. Oh, there it is. Oh, I think that's a poltergeist. A lot of things going on right now. A lot of things. Um, yeah, no, that's the monolith. It's the only thing we weren't being attacked by right now. I hate when they walk behind a bush. Okay. Pretty sure that's... Well, there's, there might be one left, but I'm pretty sure that's most of them taken care of without taking any damage, so that's nice. I'm a little bit wary about that pseudo-giant. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, it died. I definitely want to uh, grab these parts while they're available. Sorry to God if that's my friend. It's not my friend. Good. Jesus. Okay, you're in my way, dude. You are always in my way. They, these guys are, like, always in my way. <sighs> okay, um... Let's use a bandage. And heal ourselves. Oh, no. Good God. I just, I just want, I want to be safe. Why are you in the zone? I hear the, I hear you cry. <laughs> um, I'll pick up the, the grenades are actually some of the best, um, like loot you can sell. I have found, like, I, I've come to realize that, um, you know, you can't, there's not a lot of things you can pick up and actually sell. Um, but grenades are one thing you can. Functional bolt. Like, I can pick up all these bolts and strip all the stuff and, you know, like, do all this grunt work. But the grenades are actually worth, like, a sizable chunk of money. Oh, God, really? Can you guys, like, be a bit more useful? You're just standing there, and the, you let the dude freaking walk right up on me. Oh, these, these guys just don't end. I, I actually had a bead on the dude, and he squished me. One dead. Okay, I, I need a breath. Holy crap. We took some head damage, unfortunately. How's my, um... Yeah, I've taken some body damage. That's fine. 
honestly not a big deal. Um, let's, let's continue using our if, if X. I'd rather use like the crappy, uh, like healthcare now. Um, one thing I'm not happy about is how much ammo is left in our magazine. Yeah, we have to do this, I'm afraid. I'm gonna go ahead and eject. And then we're gonna sit here for a moment and load our gun. I, I st I'm still fairly firm about this. Like, I would rather take a minute to load a hundred magazine than um, have to take two seconds in the heat of combat to reload our, uh, you know, like our fast loading magazine. It's just like, I know it's it's dumb, but I, I think that this is better overall. Um, certainly, I don't like to have to um, think about too many things when I'm, I'm like shooting at stuff. Like, I don't have to worry. I don't like to worry about how much gun, how much gun, good lord, how much ammo is left in our gun. Pick up that grenade. What is this? Drug recipe. Nice. I really do uh, like being able to see all the corpses. Oh my god. <laughs> On the minimap. You guys are, are, are once again letting me down. He was right there and you, you guys did nothing. Money. Um, explosive device. I, I could probably sell that. I don't know, like, we're definitely coming back. Like, this isn't the end of the game. There's no, there's no chance of that. Flashlight, money, monolith, uh, bandage. I do like the shotgun. The shotgun kicks the absolute crap out of my old shotgun. I like this. Magazine. Wow. I, uh, I, I hate grenades. I didn't even hear that. I didn't even hear anything that could have sounded like that. My god. All right. Give me a second. Um, luckily, I saved pretty recently. I like how the time of day dramatically changed. Post load. Um, definitely pick up. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I need to pick up Buck ever again. I have enough slug. And even dart to never have to worry about like shotgun ammo. So I don't know why I would ever use slug. Slug is like the absolute bottom of the barrel ammo type. Monolith prayer. I don't think I even want to pick that up. Oh, but I will pick up that PDA. More money. There's exactly one more upgrade that we can make onto our... Uh, Exoskeleton. Oh, uh, 556 45. That means that this these magazines have more. So let's go ahead and unload that. And that also means that this has more. So we'll grab that as well. Love, love to get the 556 45. Do a quick save. Yeah, um, I, I'm really liking this new shotgun. It works really well. It's got a, a heck of a kickback. Like, the recoil on it is insane. But I don't mind, um, because it generally kills things in one hit. We got more uh, 556.45. Fantastic. This looks like a decent gun. I, I'm sure I would enjoy it, but I'm not going to bother. a very exciting oh there's a another spartan helmet 38 so it's exactly the same i think yeah but hey that's where you get uh, the spartan helmets that that tells me where i got the spartan helmet in the first place um 
We must be getting kind of close to the entrance to uh, Jupiter. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this, uh, this shotgun. Um, I don't mind that it's magazines. It's a little bit more effort, but it's a lot faster. Like once you've, you know, you load it once and then you have 10 more shells and it's a lot quicker, which is nice. So I don't mind. Bus station. So where are we? I mean, we're at the bus station, obviously. Oh, there was one more body that I missed. So there, we're getting pretty close to our stash. Amongst other things. I mean, I could check out this, uh... I'm sure I could check out these buildings. I don't really like the idea of going in the buildings. The idea of getting, um, potentially crammed into a... a dead end does not appeal to me. I might check out that area over there for artifacts, so... Oh. I don't see where they are. Where are they? <sighs> My head has once again taken a nasty shot. Which means I have to deal with that. Hey, like, I, I swear to God, I looked exactly where that dude was three times, and he just, like, straight up wasn't there. <clears throat> Getting hit in the head or taking head damage is, like, the worst, because you can't... It's the one body part you can't really, um, help with, uh, the serve. I do have contingencies though. If I, I like, I've run out of the surgical tools. Um, this, I, this tool here, I believe will actually heal everything. So I, I do have very good uh, medical supplies. I just don't want to use them until I'm in a position in which it's necessary. Is this guy up here on his own? Seems highly unlikely. Oh my god. He had two scar artifacts. My god, this this guy was loaded. Um I don't want to take most of this. Most of this is stuff that I can't really do much with. Take some of the uh, armor supplies and a grenade. All right. Yeah, I figured you get they had friends. You guys really love walking right in front of me and not shooting the enemy, don't you? Starting to question the viability of having friends. I just wanted to check to see if there were artifacts near the anomalies. And instead, I've, I've taken on a, a huge pile of, of baddies. And every time I kill them, I'm like, well, to justify... In order to justify the bullets that I have spent killing these lads, I need to go check their bodies and pick up the stuff. You know? That's, that's how I uh, justify it. And so I move over to the bodies, and of course, now you've moved, and you're closer to someone else. Right? So then you move... You, you kill them, and then you move a little bit more, and then you kill those, you know, the next pile of people. And it just, it like, it never stops. But we did get some uh, ammo for our trouble, which is always nice. Okay, now let's go check those anomalies.
Generally speaking, I've never seen any thing near these types of anomalies, but that doesn't mean there won't be a first time. Okay, well, the first time is not this time. I definitely want to grab that stash. We're here. We may as well do it. Something is seeing us. Oh, God. I really don't want to have to fight another pile of monoliths. is an interesting idea there's nothing down here but at least it's a kind of semi-safe space for now good god Okay, he's not even reacting to my bullets. Oh, that's a uh, that, <clears throat> that's my friend. Oops. Thank God there's no friendly fire, apparently. My stash is really close. <clears throat> Let's get the stash real quick. Okay, I mean, that is a very piddly stash. Okay, that's one dead. I know there's another one around here. Nice. Easy. Okay. I know I'm hearing multiple feet, but they could just be my friends. Um... So there's money here. There's a, a battery, which I'll definitely take. This isn't ammo I can take, but that is a radio. The radio is good. I'm not even going to break down the exoskeleton frame. I kind of wish I could make use of the exoskeleton frame. I really don't know what to do with those. What do we have here? Oh, a battery. This is a, um, this is a, uh, a, a battery artifact, which I think I do need for various things. Um, so that's actually going to be really, really useful. And we have a grenade. Grenade will be a good chunk of, of money. Now, I want to go over here and collect some stuff, but this is the problem, right? Like, I got to go all the way over here to collect. And then we move a little bit, a little bit closer to something else dangerous. At least we're getting a little bit of our bullets back because, dang, I spent a lot of bullets in that last firefight. Okay, you guys love to get in my way, I know. I know, it's your favorite hobby. I'd hate to take that from you, honestly. Okay, let's eat some food real quick. Eat some tomato paste. It's wild to think, uh, I, this is maybe going to be a problematic thing. But uh, I'm just thinking out loud here, but it's it's wild to think that food like any kind of um, Like store-bought food seems good to the point where you're like eating Just like tomatoes out of a can. I Know that's like uh, You know, it's it's privileged of me to to think that even but like It is wild to think that like even canned tomatoes on their own sounds like a treat um, because I, I de like, I'm not saying I wouldn't, 
I, I'm not I'm absolutely like there's there's a way other things there's so many other things that I would um be less likely to want to consume you know like I'd honestly like I'd be fine with canned tomatoes because there's always um, you know canned mushrooms before that right I'm, I'm probably gonna eat the canned tomatoes before I eat canned mushrooms I like mushrooms you know I I enjoy mushrooms <laughs> but the idea of just like straight up raw dog and like eating mushrooms out of a can because that is what you've got does not sound ex you know sound like a good time to me again i i know that's pre pretty privileged i understand that um okay let's uh load our magazine it's a it, i guess it is kind of a fun almost a i i i don't know if i really like talking about this it's not a great subject but like you know maybe maybe you can play this game next time you're at the supermarket overpaying for a tin of biscuits you know but um you know just think about like what what on the shelf what's what is like the worst thing at the supermarket that would probably preserve very well so most canned items what is like the worst thing on the shelf that you think you, that you would eat and like how far down the list is it you know i think canned mushrooms are pretty low uh i you know i'm not a huge fan of like kidney beans unless they're cooked in something but like we're talking a post-apocalyptic situation we're talking a situation where like food is good you know any food is good food so um you know then uh, kidney beans are kind of on the on the menu i don't know how where are we going here is this where we're going is this how we're getting to jupiter wow that's a weird entrance um you know black eyed peas sometimes called pigeon peas um that's pretty pretty gross on their own um trying to think well, like, what's the worst thing i can possibly imagine like from a grocery store here's 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 a a good reason why why you would want to think about this in a situation where you're in a post-apocalyptic uh like in a post-apocalyptic situation where everyone's grabbing stuff off the shelves and they're they're definitely grabbing the stuff they like first right and the thing is, is that in order to justify this, they're probably going to grab the stuff that is like, um, least likely to preserve, you know, like the stuff that's going to, uh, last a week, they're going to grab that stuff first, right? Like, so like ground beef, that stuff is gone, right? You're not, you're not, the, the, the ground beef is not going to be sticking around. Um, but then like, what's after that? You know, you, you get to, you, you get into things like, I don't know, Twinkies. They don't really sell those at grocery stores, but you know what I mean. Like, oh no, I just realized that's an emission. Oh crap! I don't. I, I'm in a completely unknown territory here. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Okay, th this looks like possibly shelter. hearing something really hoping that this counts as a shelter probably if I get like more inside okay so it says a mission, uh, mission stay sheltered. So that means this does count. I mean, we could check out this building, but I, I kind of just like want to 
plan our next direction. There is a stash here. Um, where does this go? This goes to Jupiter. We're in Jupiter. Are we not in Jupiter? So it's the Jupiter underground. Well, not sure. Um, I think we're trying to get here. It looks like this is a free stalker base. So we're going to meet with Loki there. I, I'm not sure what we're doing here. Um, but we're going to be going a northeast. So we could go to like the north side of this. Um, whatever this is, this building. I'm trying to think of like, I'm still trying to think of like the worst thing that would I, I would find on the shelf. Oh, this does not count. This does not count as, as shelter. Actually. Okay, well, I'm gonna load. Absolutely no point in, in that. Be right back. Okay. That's really silly. I actually, I'm gonna continue pausing because um, this is just us waiting around for a little while. So I'll be right back again. Okay. We're back. Um, Mills will go out the east end. If that is even an option. Doesn't look like it is, but hey, I found some Patinka Vodka. All right, well, let's, let's leave then. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we need to go northeast. Something is seeing us. I don't know what. Sorry, northwest. I am not going to bother looting that guy. I really, I, at a certain point, there's diminishing returns. I only used one shot to kill him, so we're, we're good. We're gonna go, we're gonna go northwest. We're going west right now. Never really been out in these storms. They're kind of wild. I am, I am like, I, I've talked about it a little bit, but I am still looking forward to Stalker 2. Um, I have voiced some concerns about it mostly you know this is probably a really boring subject oh god i uh stepped in the bad <laughs> give me a second here looks like that was the only bad thing so we're gonna use our serve and heal um i think it's like at this point a really healthy it's, it's healthy to have a, a certain amount of skepticism of AAA games and not because I, I think they're bad. I don't think the AAA games are bad. In fact, I play quite a lot of them. Like, I play a lot more of them than probably um, a lot of people would assume. Um, I enjoy them in my own time, you know? Like I say, I've been playing Red Dead 2. Bitumen Anomaly. It's quite hot here. There is, um, I guess we just had an emission. So there is an, um, uh, an artifact down there. I'm assuming this is not a good place to be. Black spray. Give me a second here. There's another one. I don't know. I don't see where it is. Where is it? Not like above us, is it? Uh, 
Um, I like walked right over it, but I don't see it. Okay, well, I'm okay with one artifact. I don't I don't need to but it, it kind of sucks that it's showing me a, a second one and I can't I can't get it Um, okay, well that that was kind of cool. It's a neat area. I have to say um, is this thing very uh, Oh rupture resistance Yes, oh my god That is such a lucky find um, I'm wondering if this battery is actually radioactive. Let me see here. It could be that it's not radioactive. Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, no, the battery definitely is. And in fact, me releasing it. Yeah, okay, we, we definitely have to put it back in there. Um... So, sorry, this black spray is giving off seven per tick, seven um, radiation, radiation output on the artifact radiation scale high. Um, it's, this is not a good thing that we're carrying around right now, but I can't really do much about that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off our, uh, actually, I guess the pseudo giant. Let's actually, let's take off the ballistic resistance. I like the ballistic resistance a lot, but it's... I'm going to put on the moss. That's going to buy us some time. Oh my god. Did, I didn't even look at what was in front of me. This, like, giant chasm is really cool. Um, okay, so we're going west to, to our next destination. I am really excited. I mean, like, this is, uh, this is some really cool. Also, isn't that the giant extractor that that song is about? There's a song about a giant extractor, you see. Oh, we have a zombo. Um, are those also zombies? Yeah. Those are zombies with an exosuit. We're starting to get to, uh, a higher class of zombie, you know? You might be wondering why I'm going this way. There's not really much reason for us to go this way. A couple of reasons. I'm seeing some anomalies. And as I said, since there was just an emission, there's a higher chance that we'll find some good stuff. So that is a good reason to check out an anomalous area. Oh, a radio. Love, love to see it. Money. Uh, 545, 39. Not, not the good ammo that we need. This is an interesting place. I don't know much about this area, but it's, it's pretty cool. I do want to, I want to go down there and kind of check out. I mean, here's the problem is it, like, if I find another artifact, then I have, I'm carry, I, I still don't have room for another artifact, you know? In my uh, inventory, I mean. Ooh. Not sure this is an area I can be in for too long. Um, let me see here. Chemical resistance. Chemical resistance. Okay, let's, uh, let's take one of these. We'll see. There is an artifact in here. Mm. It's a bracelet. Perfect. Um, bracelet is a great find because I know for a fact that bracelets tend to not exude radiation. Nice. These are, these are very good finds we're, we're getting right now. I've been finding more artifacts lately than ever before. So, um, oh, something is seeing us. 
Not sure what. Actually, it's a, probably a good idea that I took that radiation um, pill because, yeah, see, our, our radiation resistance is slowly decreasing right now. I better save often. I'm um, hope. Oh, something is seeing us. I'm not sure what and or where. Okay. Oh, those are fractals. I think they're called, or can't remember what they're called. That's a chimera over there. Fortunately, it is stuck. You know, I'll take it. I'll take the win. Honestly. I can't remember what these things are called. I haven't seen too many of them, though. I had money. They were, after all, people at one point. I have to assume they were people. The thing is, like, what is a burr? The burrs are so weird to me. Like, was that a person at one point? It's hard for me to believe that they were, ever. Um, okay, we need to, we need to load our, um, shotgun magazines. Um, let's seize up this dart. I guess I have one buck and I will use it. That means one of our shots is going to be like far crappier than the other ones. And how much is actually in our uh, rifle? Oh yeah, we're fine. Okay, we're still making our way over to, I don't know, to what? I have no idea. Some kind of settlement? We're going, oops. We're going straight east now. Sorry, west. I'm hoping there's some good stuff here in terms of like merchants. Um, I've never been this far north before, but I didn't even know there were still merchants like this far north. I figure once you get past Pripyat, like you're done. Because, like, um, I, I don't know. I guess we're not pa past Pripyat. I was I assumed that no one could live this far north because um, the Brain Scorcher just made it completely uninhabitable. So I do find it interesting. How's our resistance doing? We're doing okay. We're only taking, like, 4 MV or whatever. Per tick. Okay, there's a person. A friend? Yes. What is this, uh, duty? Freedom. That's shocking. Did not expect freedom here. I don't know why I didn't expect freedom. First thing we find is... Freedom body, and they had some really good gear. <laughs> that was jarring. All right. Oh, I recognize this place. I feel like this is, uh... I don't know, I, I watched my dad play Pripyat, Call of Pripyat, a long time ago. Привет, and, uh, I recognize this place when they were, when they were playing it. Trader. Nice. Um, I'd like to pit purchase info on hidden routes. What do we got? Anything good? Not really. 
Deserted Hospital to CNPP North. That's the only one that might be interesting. The CNPP South and North, um, I believe those are actually like the Chernobyl area. And so it's good to have at least one route to those areas, but I don't think I need any more. I think I have a route to both of them. If this guy sold a um, lead box, that would be amazing, but he does not. Unfortunate. Um, we can sell some stuff to him, though. Note in a strange box. I don't know if we need to sell that. We'll sell this Chimera skin. I guess I could use some um, Nemiroff vodka. I think I have fuel now. I keep not having fuel. Where is our fuel? I swear I thought we had some, but it doesn't look... Oh, yeah, we do. We have tons. Okay, so let's buy some Nemirov. We'll sell uh, a few things. <clears throat> Article unlocked characters Hawaiian. Okay, um, so let me cook some of our food. Chimera meat. Good to cook the Chimera meat at the very least, because the Chimera meat actually gives you... Um, it gives you really good uh, uh, weight... What do you call it? Endurance. Like, you can you can carry stuff for days uh, on the Chimera meat. Let me see what it, it does. Plus 15 kilograms. Like, just really, really decent. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue cooking our meat here. Survive another day is my motto. Yeah, well, I mean, you haven't exactly made that easier for me, bud. You guys got in my way. You pushed me out of my cover a couple of times. You guys are kind of the worst. But, you know, I know you, you I know you, you mean well, so. We have this rupture resistance. I should really be taking some of these things. Like, I have 17 of these pens that give us, like, ridiculous rupture resistance. And I'm not using them, which is probably a mistake. Uh, we're gonna have to do more. I wonder, it, can I use this on our EXO? Nope. Here's where I go and, and try and repair our armor, and I can't at all. Oh, we can repair our helmet, though. Let's repair our helmet. Ah, I was really hoping we would get to, we would be able to use that without, um, using it up. A darn shame. I know I don't have a lot of time because uh, I am actually uh, taking on radiation right now, but I, I, I think I'm okay. I've got tons and tons of radiation resistance. Like all of our uniforms and clothes, like helmet and everything has like an absurd amount of radiation resistance. So I should be okay I should, for like a little while at the very least. Don't forget that package in Cordon. Uh, the frequency was 33 megahertz. I really, really wish I could have found that stupid package. I, you know, I just realized the song is probably DMCA is all hell. And now I am, uh, you know, not, not, uh, not in the good graces of YouTube. <laughs> oh, well. It's, uh, uh, unfortunate, but can't really do much about it now. Hey, bud. Uh, I need medical assistance. Put me in good shape. Yeah, go ahead and put me in good shape. That saves me a bit of, uh, resources. And then, um, what else you got? You got anything good? Not really. I could buy an if act. I don't really need any more if acts. I, I have cars that I'm not using. I don't know. I, I guess I'm buying the if act. CMS is probably good. I also have some CMS that I'm not using. Is there any work that you need done? Drug making kit. That makes sense. Artifacts for everyone for free. Location in Jupiter, south of the bitumen uh, anomaly. They had injured people with them, so they passed this information on to me. Since you have proven yourself well, I'll give you this information for free. Keep working for our faction, you'll get a lot more. 
Uh, I'm, I'm good for artifacts right now, actually. I need to figure out what I'm going to do. I don't want to sell our battery, because the thing is, is I, I have a lead-lined case, but I don't want to, you know, like, dump our battery. Are you in charge here? I am. My name's Loki, right hand of Lukash at the station. An interesting name, like the Scandinavian deity. It is. That's why they uh, what they called me in the early days, right around when the brain scorcher showed up. Those were crazy times. <laughs> this cutscene. Could you tell me more about the events after the Scorcher? Sure, when the Scorcher was first shut down back in 2012, my, squ my squad launched a campaign towards the north. We went on for some time, going through different places. As the Chernobyl power plant loomed on the horizon, we decided to look for a place to set up camp and found the station while it was empty. Duty arrived soon after. We were duking it out when suddenly an emission struck. You must understand that getting zombified is a pretty shitty way to go no matter who you are. So at great risk, I let duty inside before the storm really got going. We called a building-wide truce, agreeing to keep all weapons holstered and knives sheathed until this, uh, inside the station. We'd still continue to harass each other outside of it, of course. And what happened to the dutiers and stationed here? Uh, wh where are they now? That's not an easy question. Not long ago, a stalker by the name of Alexander appeared and helped the people here considerably. Man did a lot of good things. Thanks to him, everyone was maintaining a careful balance in this station. Faction tensions in the building were even starting to diffuse. That is, until the monolith popped their ugly heads above the ground again and started looking in our direction. What happened next? Well, Colonel uh, Shulga, the leader of the Dutiers uh, that were here, decided he wasn't going to stand for cultists running freely across the zone again. He took as many men as he could, said, don't worry, we'll be back in time for drinks, and marched straight for Pripyat. The Brain Scorcher reactivated not too long after, and we never saw them since. Was the sacrifice worth it? No. To think of the risks I took when I first let his men in here all those years ago, these days we're probably taking their drinks alongside... Uh, oh, these days they're probably taking their drinks alongside the brainwashed and the walking dead. Damn. I've come to see you. Um, I'm sending one of the boys on a mission that will require him to have more protection than our best suits can offer. I need a particular artifact to protect him. Very well. Uh, meet with Loki complete. Alright, tell me about your place in freedom. What is it that you do here? We're making sure that the various officials don't conceal anything from the common folk. You know how it is. As soon as they find a new lab or some documents that shed light on the secrets of the zone, they immediately organize a military operation and clean everything up better than a friggin' Hoover. The only way of finding shit out here is, uh, is by getting there first. Um, what do you think about duty? I think I know what that... Okay, so new mission, hunt for the itcher artifact for Loki. Um, okay, do we know vaguely where it is? No? Where, well, where, where is this going to take me then? First Lieutenant, uh oh. Dangerous stash. Loki has requested an itcher to protect one of his men. Well, where am I going to find that? Is it just like, just go and, and search for it? Well, um, the, uh, the medical dude was telling me about an artifact. Maybe his information is good. Maybe, maybe that's what I need. Any work you want done? Um, okay, well, I'll do this. At least it'll get me an, an artifact. Uh, I do need another lead line case, though. Okay, so you probably, um, yeah, you're, you're the guy to, to talk to. Sort of? You don't have a lead line case, really? 
Right, you're just like repairs and upgrades and stuff. Um, I need an exosuit kit. Actually, the guy next door probably would have a lead-lined uh, box. Hey, bud. Yo, I totally agree, honestly. Okay, so here we go. Um, we have an improvised application module. I'm not sure what the benefit of using, le like, one of these super cases versus uh, using just a lead line. But I'll buy, I'll buy a super case. I may as well. I mean, it's honestly really stupid. What I should do is buy um, a lead, lead case. But I don't know. This is good enough. It's 20,000 is the thing that sucks. The thing I don't like is that it's 20,000. We'll sell some stuff. We'll make a little bit of money. And we'll buy this. Do you sell anything else that's cool? Oh, yeah, we can sell our grenades. Let's sell our grenades. Yeah, see, those grenades are, are worth a, a nice chunk of money. I honestly kind of feel bad um, dropping the ones I dropped previously. All right, so that's character ass shot. Um, all right, so this is seven... And this is seven. So actually, yeah, this case is good enough to put our artifact in it. So we're at the point now where I could I could wear um, this black spray. Like, hold on a second. We wear this black spray. We wear the sun. And we have basically um, ballistic and rupture resistance. Oh, please don't tell me the game crashed. The game crashed. God damn it. I, I was just thinking, oh, you know what? I should save because the game, I'm sensing a crash just around the corner. I really, I don't know why the game's crashing more and more these days. Um, it's really frustrating, but um, that was going to be the end of the episode anyway. I I, I, I don't think I've, I've, uh, I'm missing much. I'll, I'll have to do some of that story stuff again. And um, I'll do a little bit of inventory management, but yeah, um, that's a huge chunk of stuff done. I will likely have to, um, I'll have to figure out this itcher uh, artifact. I, I'm pretty sure that is like the next major quest that I'm I'm tasked with. But either way, uh, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.